Hello, all you beautiful people. This is Intentional Healing, and I am Nicole Bridger. Today, I want to take you through a really nice exercise that helps you to be more aware of the voice and thoughts that you are having in your subconscious. The thing is, is that we're so used to these voices um, and beliefs and thoughts that we almost don't notice that they're going all the time. So before we begin, just take a deep breath. Allow yourself to be here for the next few moments. Everything that's calling your attention will still be there when we're done. I want you to first imagine two children. To one child, the teacher is just so hard. Why are you doing it like that? It's not supposed to. What are you, stupid? You shouldn't even try. Who do you think you are? This kind of voice, which is often the voice that we have in our own heads. I want you now imagine the other child. And the teacher says, that is beautiful. Oh, it doesn't matter however you'd like to try. Good for you. And that child feels free to explore, to try, There's no fear of being shamed. So the thing is, is that we often feel that if we aren't condemning ourselves, constantly trying to look out for what might happen, that we think that we're not going to get to the place that we want to. Now, you can see the difference there in that example, that one child would be afraid to even try, desperate for praise. Is it enough now? Did I do it right this time? I'm so terrified of being ashamed that I'm just not even going to try. Well, you know what? Then fuck it. Never mind. The other child really feels loved just as they are, appreciated, and feels confident to try to make mistakes. In fact, there is no such thing as mistakes. I want you to think about a certain area of your life right now where you are wanting to experience more ease, more flow, more happiness, Who's driving in that situation? How are you speaking to yourself? You might be uh, driving right now or you might be sitting. When you have a minute, sit down with a pen and paper and start to write out all of these things that you're saying to yourself that are unkind that are not helpful. Take a minute to look or to hear what those things are. And feel free to write the ones that are absolutely ridiculous, even as you write them, because they're going on in your subconscious. And as long as they're happening up in your subconscious, they are not helping. The first step is to see them, and the first part of seeing it is to write it down. Because I know from experience that sometimes you write things down and you can't believe that you would say something like that to yourself, and yet you've been saying it silently in your mind for years. Take a look at this list. Who's driving? How are you expected to find any joy, any success, when you're speaking to yourself like that? 
Now draw a line down your page. And on the other side, I want you now to speak to yourself about this situation. Like the teacher spoke to that child that could do no wrong. You are incredible. No big deal. Just do your best. I love you for trying. You have amazing courage. Have fun. Just be yourself. Don't listen to them. No big deal. This is how to speak to yourself in the silent moments. The more that you can get it out of your head, write it down and see how you're speaking to yourself, the more you'll be able to deliberately stop yourself in the moment when you're starting to beat yourself up, take yourself down, be the mean teacher, and with real intention, choose to be the kind teacher. This is the work, and this is something only you can do. No one else can say enough nice things to you. You are the one who's in the driver's seat, and you get to choose. I know it sounds simple, and I know when it comes down to it that it can be really hard. So please allow yourself the space and time to practice it. I promise that each day that you practice just catching yourself and how you're speaking to yourself, it gets easier and easier each day as you practice being kinder to yourself to the point that one day it's almost easy and you can't believe the nice things that you're saying to yourself and then you're liberated to actually enjoy life. Do something you actually feel like doing. Hang out with the people that you want to hang out with. Achieve things and not be afraid. But it's only up to you. No one else is in control of how you speak to yourself. I hope that this exercise helps you in starting to become aware of who's driving. I send you with so much love. Mm -hmm.